Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to the Thaumaturge, recorded today at an appropriate time, so hopefully everything is higher quality than it was last night. It is uh, midday, it's lovely. So, we are going to go and find out if Ligia carries a flaw, because the golem is attracted to not just blood, but flaws, and... We need to have a flaw in order to catch the golem in the first place, just like usual. So we're going to go see if Ligia has one, and we can use that to attract the golem and hopefully capture it for ourselves. Um, obviously, we have little plans to, uh, little side plans to maybe keep the golem for ourselves. Ariel Orofe very much wants the golem for himself. I told him already that I wasn't letting him have it, so we shouldn't expect <laughs> to be given it, but we'll see. Someone in last night's comment section did suggest that, that I should let Ariel keep the golem. However, <clears throat> however, um, hello. Victor, you old bastard, come see me when we have time. Got something coming up like the good old days. Okay. Oh no. No, I'm kind of into the mission right now. <laughs> I want to keep going. Um. I don't want to game the system, I want to do what I think I would do, so I'm just going to wait until the moment comes and then we'll we'll decide from there. Ligia. Not now, Victor, I don't have time. Yeah, you do. We have to talk about the golem. I know how to stop it now. You know what to do? Tell me. Do you trust me, sister? I trust you. And I'm glad that you're here with me. Even if uh, it's not always easy. Didn't need the extra context. <laughs> Do you know what a flaw is? Kind of, but Papa didn't tell me too much about his abilities. A flaw is a hidden stamp that sometimes defines our behavior or even our lives. It's formed in the subconscious and centers around the things that matter most to us. It might be the memory of something tragic or shocking from the past, or something that takes us over completely, obsessively. If you were to tell me the one thing in your life that matters most, what would it be? Where's this coming from? My family. And you, too, so, of course. Mm -hmm. Now, seriously this time. All right, I'm sorry, I'm putting you second. Work comes first. I want to work. Hard and honestly. And I want to be respected for it. Not have fingers pointed at me. And so it will be. I saw the hallmarks of a flow of Inligia, one associated with her ambitious approach to life. That's enough for now. Um, <clears throat> I was going to ask, if you had to pick a flaw by those same parameters for yourself, you know, we've seen a lot of them in the game, Demagoguery, pride, ambition, maliciousness, blah, blah, blah. What would your central flaw be? Funnily enough, as for Victor, I would probably pick pride for myself. A lot of what I do is centered pride on pride. I already have all the information on Golem's Curse. All I need to do now is go to the ritual site with Ligia. Ariel Rofe will be waiting for us there. I only wonder if I should keep a promise made to a criminal. I don't doubt you've got that <coughs> certain something inside you. I will. And thank you for opening up to me. And good luck. Thank you. I meant the people who stand in your way. Thank you. I found out that you can only call off a golem in the place where it was made. It was summoned in the synagogue. How do you know that? I'm a Thaumaturge. Quit bragging. Just tell me what comes next. I need you. We must end it. Together. You sound serious. What's going on? What do you mean, what's Today, going on? I just told the you. The curse <laughs> placed on Father will lose its power. But we have to get going. Are we going down into the synagogue basement? Ariel Rofa is already waiting for us. He's the one leading this whole thing. Do I know him? I sincerely hope not. He's not a suitable companion for you. 
Oh, now I'm dying of curiosity. That's proper big brother talk, though. There's no time. <laughs> How exciting. I, I feel ten years old again. <clears throat> that conversation was very weird. Very disjointed and nonsensical at times. Oh. Gollum's approaching. There's Papa and... What's his name? What is his name? I can't remember. What is his name again? Oh, no. Ba, ba, ba. It's not Balthazar, but it's something like Balthazar. Anyways. Oh, let's have a little poke around first. Never know if it'll be important. Set of three candles placed in the very center of the chamber. Ariel scattered words of deep meditation on the Kabbalist Kabbalistic nature of the elements around the candles. Fire, air, and water are complemented by earth, which constitutes Golem's essence, at least in theory. Sephir Yetzirah, the Book of Creation, contains descriptions of mystical Kabbalistic rituals. Thoughts of doubt clung to the book. Ariel admitted to himself he would have wielded the names of God more skillfully had his faith not died one fateful afternoon. Having sensed I was coming, however, Rofe quickly composed himself. The ritual is based on the use of the right combination of the names of God and the elements complemented by Gollum. Kabbalah isn't that hard. Uh, we'll see. The darling sister, here in person. You clearly are of the same blood. We have nearly everything ready, I see. I don't think we've met. Ligeshulska. Ariel Rofa. The pleasure is mine. Mr. Rofa, this is everything I've been able to find. The candles are placed where you commanded. Fine. Oh, good evening, Mr. Shulsky. And you must be dear Ligia Shulska. My regards. The mademoiselle looks pale. Do you feel all right, my lady? Yes, sure. Victor, I need a pound of flesh, and it's up to you whose body it comes from. Victor, what's going on? What's he talking about? To lure the golem, we need your mature flaw. Am I the bait? I could have phrased it better. The point is that only you, with your flaw, can lure the golem here. Will I lose my flaw in the process? Well, that's linked with aspirations, chasing something. Ambition, even to an excessive degree. And yes, you will lose it. Fine. Get that flaw out of me. Does she really want to lose that? I was, as soon as he started describing me, I thought, no, she, she's going to want to keep it. Thank you for trusting me. But him, I don't know about. I'll keep an eye on him. Enough chit-chat. Since everything's ready, let's get to work. Let's begin. Don't mess this up. I'll do my best. Here we go. Won't it come? Patience.
I take her flaw, you get rid of the golem, and we're quits. Uh, I mean, that's definitely where I'm tempted to go. Let me think about this one for a minute. Because, right. Oh, people have got my head now. <laughs> I'm sure there's some repercussion to this, right? It's going to annoy him. But I never agreed. I literally never agreed to um, to giving him the, the golem. And we get an extra floor. I think no matter what happens as a result of this, I would be more annoyed by not getting the sixth salutor you know what i mean like i think that would be the worst thing that could happen to me so i'm sure there is pain to come if we do this so that one's obviously if you haven't built up your pride enough <clears throat> you can do that but you don't get the extra floor this is the only way actually well no yeah he'll take it but i want it <laughs> I just, I think I would regret not getting all of them, so I'm going to go for it. Sorry, friend. Not this time. You bastard! I did tell you. I can, what's he surprised about? I literally told him this was going to happen. Ah. <sighs> I don't know. I feel I feel a little bit bad. He did come and help us at the end of the day, right? So there has to be a little bit of guilt associated with that. But as I say, it was it was always the plan, you know. <laughs> it really genuinely was always the plan. I'm not gonna change it now. I don't want I never want to when I make decisions in games, I always try to not game the system, inverted commas, as in Oh, I wonder what that is. What is that? Makes every attack on the enemy deal the maximum possible damage. That doesn't seem that scary, it must be said. I think they might both die, actually. It's going to be very close. I need the level 3 agony, man. I can't, I can't not. I can't get 5 out of 6 salutors and miss the final one. That would just be silly. Okay, good first round. Right, who's next up? Muta actions being slowed or interrupted. That's not a big. Actually, he's only got one. We should just break this guy, like, instantly. Okay, that's him done. And her. These people are not stay. Why is the focus so low? Like, I might just lower. <laughs> just do it myself. Um. Throw that on, actually. Oh, no, they've got a... Oh, they've got a bam. Pew! Oh, we've got another one. Okay. Seems like a very easy combat. Pew! Took 16 damage. And that takes tons. Uh, you got your big one, so... Concussion and... Short. Little guy dead. And everyone else slowed down. And I've got 50% more damage. Marana, do you think? My beloved? What was that? Two damage? Okay. Um, break her. And I'll start working on this guy over here. What's wrong with you? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, it's Ligia. These combats are usually quite... This is probably, for most people, the final one of these that you ever do. So I'm surprised that he's... I mean, I don't want to say before I actually succeeded, but it is surprisingly easy. Uh, this one... I think it's Velus I want here. Launches an attack on a random enemy, yeah. The damage range on that is insane. 23 to 113 or something like that. Crazy. It should hit Ligia, is the hope. No, 
I didn't. It hits a random enemy, but I guess that can include the enemy they attack, you know. said the golem is staying with me after all. Fuck off! <laughs> Enough! Stop! Both of you! Not here! You're lucky, Solsky! That's enough, Mr. Rofer. You'll be looking over your shoulder for the rest of your life! Let's get your sister to a safe place. I'll call a carriage. I have no regrets. He's a bit of a dick. I don't dislike him, actually, because <laughs> I don't dislike you just for being a bit of a dick, but I, I said from the very start he shouldn't have gone in with any other expectations. He still agreed to help me, even though I said there was no chance I was going to let him have the golem. My, my conscience is clear in that regard. What happened? How did I get here? Feldman helped me bring you here. He just left. He told me to say hello. That was kind of him. What about the golem? Now we're safe from the curse of Satanisław. The golem is mine now. And what about my flaw? I took it for myself. So you cheated Ariel Rofer? No! I did it for you. Huh. Sounds like something Papa would say. What? <laughs> it looks like you tricked him and me for your own purposes because you thought you knew better. And now, we might be back in danger. You'd better get some rest. Without the floor, you don't seem like yourself. You'd better watch what you say. Oh, this game annoys me sometimes when it does this kind of thing because it's it's just not tr it's not true in comparison to what actually happened. Dear Miss Suska, a practical man, not driven by sentiments, I'm driven by profit. Our combined assets united by marriage would bring plentiful benefits to both of us. Your money would help build my cold meat empire. You'd be able to end that work nonsense. Oh well, that's not not really a good way to get her on side, buddy. <clears throat> Again, I never promised. Anything. Oh, hey, Wanda. Mr. Shulsky, there's a young lady to see you. I'll serve tea in the drawing room. I won't stay long. There's no need. Thank you, Grazinka. A nice house, a spot of tea, a housekeeper. When the revolution comes, everything here will go up in smoke. Yeah, probably. Just say when. I'll place the first torch. We'll see each other there, then. Did he say anything? You know what? He confirmed my belief that thaumaturges are freaks. Thank you, Vanda. And now forgive me. I'm going to find some kindling for our next tete-a-tete. -tete. Besides, I'm supposed to be meeting Michal. Thank you again. You've done me a great favor. I know. See you. Will the young lady be visiting us more often? You're a nosy little thing, aren't you? That's my hope. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Right. Let's, uh... I want to check what my floor is that we just picked up. There's still four more somehow. 
Ambition. Restores five health points for every enemy you defeat. If they're all, if you're lower than, not um. Uh, I'm missing. How am I missing so many? Have there been opportunities to get floors that I just haven't picked up on? Is it all going to be towards the end of the game? It's one of those two options, and I'm not sure which. Uh, right, we have to go meet with the guy, but of course we're going to go see Rasputin first, because we have ourselves a golem. Which means we're going to the cemetery, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Rofe, I like him, but he's kind of a dick. And again, like, everyone's acting like I promised something. I didn't at the end of the day. He said, okay, I'll do it if you let me have the golem. I said, no chance. And he said, he'll do it anyways. <laughs> How is it on me? It's just not. The game... I mean, Look, I'm enjoying this game. I'm not going to pretend otherwise. But the game does have that problem. That so many games with choices do. So many games with choices have this exact same problem in that they give you the sort of illusion of choice, but they've got an idea in mind and they're going to follow it. So, <laughs> like, it doesn't really matter what you do to an extent. I mean, it definitely does. I definitely feel like I've made impactful choices throughout this playthrough, don't get me wrong. It's just every now and again, it, it feels otherwise, you know? Like now. Do you have a moment? For you, always. There's a golem inside me. I need your help. Again. And I won't turn you down again. Last time, Rasputin. Sad times. See? This is your inevitable, cruel end. It's approaching. You won't escape it, nor hide from it. I don't want to die. It's not up to you. Sometimes you have to accept the blow. Now, give him the command. From now on, you will obey me. Did it, gang. What's my achievement? <laughs> Why didn't I get an achievement? I'm very surprised. Okay, so we can now unlock. There it is. We can now get Torment. Doubles the number of suffering states on all... Ah! That's not what I thought it was. That's much better, actually. I thought it was going to cast it on everyone. But actually, it both casts it on the enemy. Which is good. So it doesn't cast it on an extra enemy like that one does. But it does, um... Yeah, it just doubles it. Seems strong. Cool. Right, now we need to start saving up for... Juices taking damage? Maybe. What would I go for? Skills that reduce enemies' focus reduce it by 2. Reduce taking damage. Increase inflicted damage by 140. Makes the attack on the enemy choose a random target. Meh. Increase inflicted damage by 150. I don't know, whatever. And let's throw a thing on there. Where is it? There it is. Um, now, this one is interesting because I am likely to use it, right? So I think I want sabotage. Interrupt them. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, let's go. Will I get enough skill points to get a new skill? That's the question. I also think my Victor is obviously a prideful man, to say the least, right? He would probably take the Golem. I don't think he would hesitate, really, to take the Golem, actually. Like, based on the character he is and who we've played a master throughout this entire playthrough. 
just trying to justify my decisions. Meet with the mysterious doctor. Okay. Don't sit down yet. Always have a little poke around first. Never know what you'll find. Sometimes you'll find nothing. I wonder if it's someone we know. No. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Welcome. I'm not used to getting such a welcome from others. Usually, they go charging straight into my head. That's not very polite in my view. One ought to introduce oneself first. Emir Bernokovich Fulge. Are you alone? I've taken care of them. Good. Thank you for the onion. Thank you for the fork. <laughs> it's impossible to ignore an invitation magically inscribed on an onion. How can I help you? I send all my invitations on onions. What is a Fauge? That's what we Tatars call thaumaturges. I'm a healer, a fortune teller, and a doctor. Is something ailing you? I'm looking for the Black Grimoire. After my father died, it went missing. What do you need another spell book for? Well, what good is it to you? Stanislav mentioned that sometimes you let your pride get the better of you. Mm, maybe. Get to the point. As you wish. Enough beating around the bush. <laughs> oh. In this place, we can talk openly and take all the time we need. But mind that lying may cost you dearly. Who told you I have the Black Grimoire? My favorite part of this game is actually telling <clears throat> the, uh, it's just seeing all the different Slytos. Now, he said that lying might cost me dearly, right? However, however, that one, ah, oh, screw it. I overheard something on a walk by the river. Don't veil yourself. The grimoire. My patience is running short. Suffer is dead. You're the only one left. Give the grimoire back. This is the last time I'm asking. Stanislav used to tell me you were really sick and nearly lost your mind. How did you manage to get through all that? I'm gonna keep lying to him. He said I shouldn't lie, but I'm gonna keep lying. Because <laughs> it's using my skills, and that makes me want to do it. I didn't ask for diagnosis. This Falje of yours, how did he help you? No. Also, he I, like I don't owe him the truth. He stole my bloody book. <laughs> With a good word and a prayer. I thought you weren't a believer. Do you trust him? It isn't easy to earn my trust. And your Falje is a thaumaturge too. <laughs> Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. Do you know any other thaumaturges from Warsaw? Let me keep lying. There we go. <laughs> Can we ever truly say we know another person? That's enough. I don't have the Black Grimoire, and I've never had it. Oh. Why are you straining like that, old man? Forgive me. At my age, I have to hunt around for entertainment. I wanted to give you a try. You've got talent, and you know how to use it. You've basically learned nothing from me. Your resistance has given me as much knowledge as the truth would have. That comes with experience. 
I want to rebuild the Coterie, with your participation. Why do you want to resurrect it? I'll tell you why you want this. Because it offers real influence without the need to come out of the shadows. Very practical. I trust that now you're intrigued. It sounds tempting. I'll think it over. That's enough for me for the time being. But take my advice. When you leave here, go to the one who healed you. I sense he has many secrets. We all do, don't we? Yes, but his secrets might be dangerous, and might thwart your plans. Be careful. Where's my bloody book? <laughs> are, we, are we not going to address that? <laughs> That's why I'm here, isn't it? He doesn't have the bloody thing. Got a point. Our quest expires soon. No! <laughs> right, let's go do this Avarishi one then. We're not going to do the Rasputin one for a little while. I need one more skill point. Then we'll go talk to Ligia. And hopefully stumble upon this tailoring inspiration along the way. I want to rebuild the Coterie. That sounds fun. The Coterie is the secret group our father was part of. Maybe founded, I don't know. But he was part of and helped to... Um, I wonder if we're going to get to like a new location, and that's how I do this. Hmm. Um, and helped to assert Polish beliefs and independence and all that kind of jazz. I can't. I just. I, I'm so confused by these these markers. I'm just going to go look at them. There are four stars on the map, and they're all lock points. And you know what that means? That means that there are four. Minimum, and that's just in this one area. Four of those little photo things that I somehow haven't seen. And that just seems impossible to me. It really does. Like, I don't see how that would be the case. There's another one. All th I think all four of these are... Um, you can't tell until you look at them, but it just seems wild to me. I can't get over it. It's like blowing my mind a little bit. <laughs> there are, I mean, it's a, it's a biggish game, but it's not that big. Look at this is mama. Where are you? Wait, unless that's not... Unless it is a quest I've already done. I don't know. Maybe they still show up? But that would be stupid. Ah! Anyway, so let's go to Abarishi. Abarishi, then Ligia, and then on to Rasputin. I wonder what he's up to. I've, I've had some suspicions of Rasputin for a little while now. But, um... You know, he's been very helpful as well, so... Very curious to see... Oh, we're going here. What's going on there? Hey, buddy. At least I think, buddy. You seem happy. What's going on? Saturday. That's what's going on. I'm pretty sure today's not Saturday. <laughs> Live your life like every day was Saturday. Listen, we've got a job coming our way just like in the good old days. You, me, and beating up some thugs. Interested? I know you are. Tell me, what kind of action have you got coming up? There's this guy, Kafar, from Ruzitz. The bastard thinks he can mess with the left bank. He and his people seized one of mine, Max. Said he owed them. He got away, but there's still bad blood. I thought I might explain a thing or two to Kafar. So, shall we go there? All right. You have my grimoire. Yes, that's what I like to hear. Come on, let's show Kafar we mean business. I won't have anyone going after my people for some imaginary debt. I imagine there's more to this than Avarishi is necessarily telling me, but we'll, we'll, we'll pop along and see what happens. Look how beautiful it is. The babble of fishwives. The cursing of longshore men. And there, marshmallows are being cut on a chopping block. Oh, and there my dad used to have a stall. Well, never mind. Where do we find that wise guy? There, in a shack in the southeast. His people usually stand by the entrance. Let's go then. 
But you go with the ships and lock Ružic so that Kafar knows this is serious. And so that none of those bastards get away. I can't let you stick your neck out for me, boss. Not just me. It won't be the first time we beat on some knaves with Victor. We have some experience in getting rid of wicked men. And bigger ones, too. Lone sharks. The whole town was in Mieszko Setsemin's pocket. Everyone was afraid to look him in the eyes. But not me, and not Victor. We rid worse of that scumbag. So don't you worry. Kafar is a piece of cake for us. Go on, close the gates. On it, boss. Today, my dear Victor, we will embark on a sentimental journey. A long, long time ago in the Mermaid City lived a brute, the leader of 40 thieves, grafters, keeping order at Ruzitz. Let me guess, we are the righteous warriors who will teach him a lesson, right? You know it. We are some helpful bastards, aren't we? You seem to be in awfully good mood. Well, sure. It's just like the old days, isn't it? You and me against the world. Old pals pledge their loyalty, their voices like a sling projectile. Besides, the Ruzitz lads are really fun to smack around. Oh wait, speak of the devil. Here they are. Let the fun begin. What do you think you're doing? Closing the gates, kicking up a shindy? You shouldn't show up here, Nijits. Yes, I know. You're intimidated by the sight of an intellectual. It's time to write the first chapter of today's tale on these ruddy mugs. I will call it The Pilgrim and the Poet K. Pound him in the kisser. <laughs> Alright, boys. Okay, let's have a little look at our new boy. Golem. Inflicts powerful. Oh my god, he's huge. I had a question about the golem, however. The golem isn't the whole point that he's a salutor. Didn't we have to remove the physical form? But we didn't seem to remove the physical form at all. <laughs> he inflicts powerful damage. <clears throat> but some of his skills require the enemy to be under certain conditions. So, inflicts damage, slows the enemy's planned action by no more than two rounds. Inflicts damage, if the enemy's focus is less than full, inflicts double damage. But the, these all suck so far. We do no damage. Inflicts damage, if the... It says it inflicts double damage, but <laughs> that isn't a... Oh wait, no, it's because this guy's got resistant damage. Is that why? Yes, okay, okay, wow. So he's, he's very slow, but he does hit like a truck. So, I mean, that's... I mean, those are quite light requirements. That's going to hit for 34 minimum if they're missing a single point of focus. That's crazy. And if they're suffering... For example, what I could do is throw that on him. There. I was suffering on him myself, and that guy's dead on the next hit. That's kind of wild. Yeah, that's that's kind of crazy. Wait, what did you just hit me with? I'm sad, apparently. Ow. Alright, so that guy's gonna die. Uh, right, what's going over here? Juice is impacted by one. Mm, don't like the look of you. Right, I'm gonna have to... Bear with me, folks. Can I pause this? Alright, one sec. Alright. One sec, one sec, one sec. Ugh, oh, my arms. Bloody Laura. It's very windy today, so my door's going bonkers on the hinges. So I just need to push my laundry bag up against it. Uh, yeah, I'll just throw it on this guy. Why not? Oh, this, is this a new one? Oh, it is, so we should do it on this guy. It'll interrupt him. Oh, god damn. Jesus Christ, that was awesome. <laughs> Absolutely whomped it. Right, that guy's dead. And I can kind of do the same thing again. It's not the quickest attack, but it's the funniest. <laughs> and I think that's the important thing. It looks incredible. He's about to do it again. I'm very excited. Take a little bit more damage and then wait for it. 
Wait for it. <laughs> oh, Victor, that was truly exquisite. Incredible. Can you smell the aroma of Madeleine wafting through the air? When you smack the tallest one, I almost shed a tear. I like Madeleines. And this is just chapter one. Time for chapter two? Sure thing. And we can do anything we want in it. It just has to end with us paying Kafar a visit. After all, I'm on official business here. This is our time, Victor. And time is like a little fartridge, running fast as fuck. We need to take advantage of that. What the heck is a fartridge? All right, I'm Fart googling that because I'm very curious about that one. Is he just mixing fart and partridge together for reasons I can't quite discern? Oh, okay. Apparently it's a thing. The name give no. This this is I don't think this is a thing. I'm getting like Alan Partridge references and that's about it. <laughs> there's no Wikipedia. There's no Yeah, I don't I don't I, I think I think it I think it genuinely might be just a combination of partridge and fart. Follow me. One scum queen awaits in a tower. A queen Lead the way. Pokemon Mallory. Uh, what I really want to see as well is the Golem's, um, big hit, you know, the concussion hit. Hold on, scumbags! I'm talking to you! What did we do to deserve that kind of treatment from the authorities? Authorities? What authority? He's just the corrupt copper. You must have a death wish, you lice-ridden mongrel! Lovely. Another one to be made into mincemeat. Let's go, Victor. Although, upon careful consideration, the process won't help much in this case. Oi! Let me just... Get out of here, bastards! About it, do you remember how we used to make fun of the constables to make them chase us? I sure do. Hey, ugly. It's in your pocket, and it's gonna muck it. What? Shit's a lot. I'm gonna tear you apart. What? This one lacks a sense of humor. Chapter 2, The Pilgrim and the Poet Saw. What? <laughs> I'm not getting that one at all. Alright, let's go. Alright, what's this over here? I would like to... Marana, perfect. I wanna I wanna try Thingy's big thing. So we're gonna Marana and we're gonna Oh, that's really nice. We'll do I guess we'll do that one. And then I will start to work on probably you, because yours isn't a uh, yeah. And I just wanna see what the golems think is. Let's throw another one out over here. Let's go. Slice and dice a little bit. Oh, there we go. Feel free to keep attacking me and ignore Abarishi entirely. Right, okay. Golem. Flick. Oh, it's just a huge amount of damage, <laughs> basically. Yeah, sure. What does... Oh, wait, I can't. Um, okay, so I'll throw this out over here. So this is going to double the guy on the right to two, and it should double the guy in the middle to four. It's pretty good. And it's going to inflict this. So give the guy here. Right, so I'm predicting that after I do Torment here, the guy on the far left will have two, the guy in the middle will have four, and the guy on the far right will have two, right? I hope so. <laughs> two, four, two. Yeah, okay, that is really strong. That's super strong. The interesting thing is... Um, he can't have more than four stacks of suffering. So, doubling is. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh! What? Jesus Christ. This thing is brutal. Absolutely brutal. 
Might have to get rid of the bleeding. No, oh, healed. I really do that. Oh, middle guy's dead. And I will. I'm gonna do a little transfer, I think. To you. See, it's interesting because the double right now doesn't really do anything. Like, actually, I don't think I've ever been to this point, but Torment doesn't really, doesn't do anything to this guy. It interrupts him, but that's about it, right? Because um, he's already at four. You can't have more than four. And this guy's got three, so Torment would add one. So the interesting thing about this new build, or having that third ability, is that it kind of means... I mean, I'm, I'm going to do it anyway, because it's going to interrupt him, but it kind of means... I don't know, um... I'm going to end up using other abilities more often than I usually would. I guess. And he's out of there. Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is something here. Small package. Nothing but suspicious looking white powder inside. There's greed for both money and success churning over the package. Fast carriages, fancy restaurants, beautiful women. They do say that money is power and once he sells his magic sugar, he'll be rolling in it. He'll live like a king. Hmm. Cocaine. Anything else in the area? Never really got into cocaine, must be said, but... I mean, I shouldn't really have to say that. It's cocaine, I've never I've never done cocaine, just to run a reaffirm that. I, I mean, I have dabbled in some less than legal drugs, but not cocaine, because it always seems like a step too far to me. Um, it is shocking, however, the number of people I know who do dabble in cocaine. I know, I can think of at least six people off the top of my head who I know, like people I know quite well who dabble in cocaine. It is so prevalent in like the 20 to 30s um, in this country, it's kind of crazy. It's a little bit disconcerting as well. Like it's, it's really, like it's always been a thing, but it's really taken off over the last decade. Like when I was at university, nobody did coke, <laughs> right? And the last ten years, that has changed dramatically. What are you joshing for, Nijits? This ain't your turf. Why the hell did you come here raising a stink? Get out of our way, plebeian. Wait, about it. Take a look at him. Doesn't he look like... Samson the Thug! The same beady eyes are straying in search of reason. What did you say? You look like a hothead from way back who stood in our way. Shall we do the same as we did with the other one? This, um... Uh, this quest has huge vibes of it'll turn out that Aberishi's kind of instigated this all and maybe he's using me to kind of take territory or something like that. I don't know. I, I do not get the feeling that this is maybe on the up and up, but we'll see. Take a good look at me. I'm a Thaumaturge and the right-hand man of Abaurits and Yejits, the Lord of Shrudmieszcze. We came to see Kafar. Better let us through before anyone gets hurt. Don't listen to him. Come on, let's beat the shit out of each other. All right, get in. Just don't try anything. I'll keep an eye on you. I need to change my clothes. I've decided I like the jacket, but there's too much matching with the rest of the coloration. Maybe I need to change the vest. Kafar, you fucker. Nyejits, you snitch. You always drop in unannounced. Did you hear that? A lone shark calls me a snitch? The scumbag. Next time, I'll send you a note. I want you to stay the fuck away from my people, especially Max. And what are you going to do? I've got a reputation here. You'd best shut your trap and bark up a different tree. He's going to get his trap smacked. Let's get him. Oh. So what's your version of the story? Who cares? I didn't take you to have a conversation with him. The darkest place is under the candle. 
Your Max nicked something important from me to sell it himself. Talk all you want. I have no reason to believe you. You've got the wind up, so you'll say anything to save your ass. You're a schmuck, you know that? Shut your trap! Victor, I'm getting impatient. I can't, I can't do anything. Fine, let's try your way. I don't want like to. Like in the good old days. Aren't you a jumpy little rooster? You've got nothing on me. And Max has got to give me what he owes. All right, have it your way. Victor and I will be going now. Really? Fuck no! And now say goodbye to your teeth, darling. Chapter 3. The Pilgrim and the Poet Conquered. Oh no. no I don't feel good about this. I wonder what I could have found that would have helped. I'm surprised they didn't. Uh, right. Rock out. The problem is, I want to get through this guy. Well, I guess, actually, actually, Bukovac. Bukovac and Gollum are like, I can leave them as like a tag team almost. Like, Bukovac comes in and does Howl, and then Gollum follows up by smashing them to bits, you know? Makes sense to me. Oof. Okay. So, I mean, Gollum right now could just kill this guy straight up. <laughs> Which I guess we probably should. Makes sense to me. I mean, that. I mean, right, I need to be 32 damage. So, actually, I don't even need this. I mean, all of these kill him. <laughs> well, these two, anyway. Actually, this one doesn't. This one does. Oh, it, it shows the double, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, right. That, that, that guy's dead already. That's kind of crazy. I need to break the tray of the gun on the right, though. Mm. The only problem is it, it kind of means I don't have a Salutor because he takes a gajillion years to attack. What I want to do is break the guy on the far right. Ow. Ow. Stop that. Thank you. That's much better. Okay, all I can do is keep racking up a gajillion bloody wounds on these guys in the middle. <laughs> it's totally worth it, though. My god. Incredible. Alright, they're both dead. On the right. Let's get you sorted. Oopia, my beloved. Give me some health. Uh, no point throwing out an agony, so I guess I'll throw out a something. I don't know what I'm going to throw out. <laughs> a diversion, sure. Get some of my own focus back. Right, now I should be able to do this, right? Yeah. Guy's gonna die in a sec. Oh, that noise is rough. And down he goes. Okay, Gollum, do you wanna do your thing, buddy? you will. Victor, give me Sataniswa's gun. Mm, don't know about that. It's not worth getting our hands dirty with this scum. I guess, but this time it's us calling the shots. It's not going to be the same as back then. We are our own masters. Spare my life, and I will forget everything you did, I swear. And Max, too. I don't have a problem with you. Shit. Did you have to cry? Fuck it, you'll be kissing our hands. And my shifts, too. Sure thing! Here, take! There's some aquavita on the table. 
as a token of goodwill. Let's go. We've earned ourselves a high-grade epilogue. I wasn't going to kill the guy. It seems a bit harsh. I mean, being in what seemed harsh in the first place. Hmm. That's an interesting one. Let me think about this briefly. So, the thing is, I'm like, well, I would rather not go threaten the guy at all if Max stole, right? But think about this if it was your real... Let's say your friend has stolen something from someone else, right? And in retaliation, your friend has been beaten up. Now, logically, your friend brought it on himself, yes? I'm not going to pretend otherwise. They deserved it. Well, I'm not going to say they deserved to get beaten up, but... You can understand retribution in that scenario. You know, at the end of the day, they instigated it by stealing something. However, because it's your friend, <laughs> do you not... I feel like I would still have to... If they wanted to then go fight back, I feel like I would then have to side with them. I'd probably try to convince them it's a bad idea, but I'm not going to let them go in alone. So, <sighs> it's an interesting one. A friendship makes us blind to stupidity. Well, this is what I call a happy ending. We beat up a few thugs, and we taught them a lesson. Well, if that was an evil deed, then the Tsarist government would have arranged war so differently. The Lone Shark is defeated, and justice prevails eventually. What a grand time. I had a ball. How about you? Likewise. Y you better tell me why it was my dad who swung for it, not us. Honestly. We came back, Satanyiswav took you into his office for questioning, and then what? Father never raised his voice. I wished he had screamed and been mad at the time, but all he did was talk. From time to time, Bal Barret would show up and look at me. I thought I would die that day. Then I heard your father would answer for the lone shark's death, and... You and I would get away with it. Stanislav told me to pack and take this gun with me. To remind me that it wasn't just a lone shark who lost his life that day. Right. My dad would rot in jail and yours had to sell antiques. You don't know everything. My father was forced to let one rat inside his home. Ivan Konyechkin. No shit! Satanisov snitched to the Ochrana? That's tough. Do you think your old man was right to expel you? I don't know. It was a long time ago. In another life. Right. And now that Satanisov is pushing up daisies, it doesn't matter anymore. Never mind. Each of us had his share of suffering. And now, we're here drinking vodka as winners. I have to admit that this is some quality vodka. Agreed. It burns the throat like the urge to sing sonnets. It hits the head like... inspiration. Tastes like Ruzitska. You know, the booze from the butcher's shop. I know, so it's kosher. Victor, what do you think about me? Really? It's funny, I've had... Uh, conversations so similar to this, because um, when I went to university at Aberystwyth, um, it's on the it's on the coast, it's right by the beach. Well, it's like a stony beach, and there's a big old pier and all that kind of jazz. And I remember one night, about five in the morning, me and two of my friends, there's four of us who hung out all the time, because we lived together, we got put together randomly, and became friends for life from it still to this day um and we went and sat on the pier at like five in the morning watching the water and drinking and talking it was one of the nicest nights of my life actually it was really it was great i think you're my friend what you still trust me even after i had you kidnapped are you an idiot yeah maybe i'm kidding i'd follow you into a fire brother but don't tell it to my lads or they'll get jealous but enough talking for now. Let's drink. To friendship, Victor. To being squared up. I think everyone's got that friend who's a little bit of a nightmare, like Abarishi as well, but they're your mate, so... It just is what it is, like, it doesn't matter. 
It just doesn't matter. Fish! I got a new one. The circle of life and death, I cast my hook today, only to be hooked tomorrow myself. Oh, maybe we can get some new stuff here. Where are we? Uh, there's not really anything else here, though. Where are we? I have no idea. Oh, Port Fargo. Surgeon and the Polish cause. Colleagues, we've gathered to discuss the most crucial matter. We, the Underground Angling Association of Poland, must take drastic actions to protect our national Polish sturgeon. The population of this majestic fish that can be easily found in the Vistula is now endangered. Even more tragic knowing why the sturgeon is being fished without consideration. It's fish for roe, for caviar that goes straight to the Sars table. That is why, as angling enthusiasts, we must struggle to join we must join the struggle for independence, both out of love for fish and a sentiment for lost motherland. Message from Arishi. Brother, glass against glass. These are the vows we make that no devil can break. I have to go see my shivs. Shromishja cannot be left unattended for too long. Or all kind of dregs will start running rampant. You missed a delightful sunrise, but you sleeping beauty slept so sweetly I didn't have the heart to wake you up. Till next time, A. P.S. You're drooling your sleep a little. Aww. Cute. Oh. Got the permit? No. What permit? The river belongs to everyone, doesn't it? And who do you think stocks it, huh? You think five kilograms of bream just fell into the river? Pay the five ruble fine while I'm still in a good mood. You won't fool me. There have always been fish in the river, and there always will be. Anyone can fish. Fucking poacher, butchering our fish. We will show you what it means to use the river responsibly. I was fishing though. Lads, we got a poacher here. Get him! Do you see any fish? Do you see a fishing rod? <laughs> Do you see anything fishing related whatsoever? No, you don't. You're a numpty. What are they talking about? Why is everyone determined to beat me up? <laughs> I don't deserve this. Do that one, yeah. Should be two in the middle, two on the right. Yep. And then we throw this on here, and that means there'll be four in the middle, four on the right, and two on the left. But he's got less health, so. And then they just start ticking down, so I don't really need to use suffering anymore. I guess the only reason. That was a hard hit. The only reason you'd need to bloody hell. The only reason you'd need to is because it ticks down after four turns, but they're never gonna survive that long anyway. They're both dead next turn. I guess this suffering does do something though. I mean I did expect this to be a hard fight, it must be said. <laughs> Silly fisherman. I mean, I was about to end the video, I just figured I'd do a little bit of running first, and then <laughs> rather instantly someone tries to beat me up. There's no um, thingies here, is there? No. Okay, right, so next video we'll go talk to Ligia about private... What is private instruction all about? Met Cecilia... Da, 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 da. Oh, it's all the stuff about the, um, the flying university. Seems to be the last quest we've got, unless I happen to stumble upon the tailoring thing. I still don't get where all these floors are. That's... I'm finding that very confusing. That's where the explosion was. But, um, it is what it is. Either way, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks next time. And, uh, cheers much as always. Bye-bye.